Provide a scamper. Um, so a bit of an his or her workflow. So you've seen already the Salex Dream Browser, um, which is a tool created by CC Biohub and funded by the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. Then we found that this is the um, gene expression analysis resource. They use uh, so-called workbenches that are based on ScanPy. And um, probably some of you have already met the Galaxy browser, um, which is in cooperation with the Human Cell Atlas. And they provide a Human Cell Atlas ScanPy cell browser where you can do all the workflows of single cell data analysis um, with the ScanPy back backend. Who about the ScanPy? We have a lot of R people in the crowd. So um, let me briefly say something about the interoperability between ScanPy and Sura. So Sura is the R-based tool for um, single cell data analysis and they have implemented a function called read H5ID um, with which you can import everything that you did in ScanPy in Sura. So you can import and data objects in Sura and do your analysis easily in Sura. On the other direction, there's the NData 2RI package that can op, um, import Sura objects, so usually they're saved as RDS files, um, into ScanPy. So if you want to um, use all your analyses that you have done in Sura and want to try out something and from ScanPy, or just convert to the ScanPy crowd, please use the NData 2RI tool. There's more than single cell RNA sequencing. Um, EpiScanPy helps you to work on epigenetic marks like ATOXIC data or ChIP-seq data. So they um, group from Maria Colometace at the ICB um, under the lead of Anna Danese created EpiScanPy with the whole functionality to use um, or to analyze um, ATOXIC single cell data. Adding more to the functionality of ScanPy, um, we not only have like single cell unsorted data, but we also go spatial with ScanPy version 1.5. So let me show you a bit about spatial data. So when you have single cell RNA, um, yeah, in your yeah, data metrics, um, uh, transcriptomic prop um, properties, but what you miss is how these cells are embedded in their environment. So especially if you have tissues like liver, pancreas, heart, you probably want to know how these cells are located in their uh, structure. This is of particular interest um, for neurologists. So that's like the, the legal brain that is outlined here. Um, you definitely want to know how neurons uh, communicate with, with each other and you can do this with the spatial platform. Um, of course, there's a Tanex product that um, helps you to um, create spatial data. It's a so-called Visium chip. Um, if you want to learn more about the Visium chip, you probably want to um, visit the Tanex page um, to learn more about this. All right, from version 1.5, ScanPy supports spatial transcriptomic data analysis um, that you have on this uh, spatial chip. And you can not just visualize um, gene expression on these um, chips, but you can actually do the whole ScanPy um, data analysis functionality that you learned in the past few days of the course. Um, it also supports multiple slices and um, for example, you could also do data integration and or spatial data integration and cell type mapping with Scanorama. So when you have um, single cell RNA sequencing data and you have spatial data, you could integrate those um, different samples using Scanorama. Okay, um, 
What's next upcoming is also data loaders for a fish, for slides and also for imaging mass cytometry. So stay tuned for uh, novel additions to SCAMPI and the SCAMPI universe. Um, leading this development is uh, Giovanni Pala together with uh, Isaac Wirschop and uh, Philip Angera. So, and, and those two those two guys are the, actually the lead developers in ScanPy. Okay, one last thing for about impressions from the ScanPy um, and the spatial platform is here. We, you can see how different um, cell types are like located in the spatial context. Um, and of course, we always have to compete with Sura. So Sura has a similar uh, functionality here um, as like the ScanPy 1.5 has. So with this, I would like to close the whole course and I would like to thank the whole ICB that is like from our last retreat. And that was basically the last time that we actually gathered in, in this crowd. Um, this work wouldn't have been possible without the support from the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative and the Single Cell Omics uh, Network. Um, I would draw your attention to our Twitter account. So Fabian Theis is the um, director of the Institute of Computational Biology. We call ourselves ICB Munich, so that's our Twitter um, account. Alex Wolf invented ScanPy. Uh, Isaac Worship um, and Philip Angera are like the lead people. So if you want to know and get, and you follow people on Twitter, follow them to get your, yeah, the, the latest news about Scampi. Um, and finally, I would like to thank the tutors that, who um, supported the whole workshop in the past two days. So it's Moritz and Luke who um, did the tutorials on the first day. And today, uh, Subana, Ignacio, and Giovanni supported uh, me in the other two um, yeah, breakout rooms. And with this, I would like to close the whole course and thank you that you contributed so actively. And I'm, I'm happy to take final questions.